adaptable dog. A lot of us have restrictions in the body and some of them are muscular and some of them are actually based on this, the shape and the structure of your bones. So unfortunately, when we practice yoga, we learn a set of rules, right? And those rules can be limited and we try to fit our bodies, our distinct bodies, into a blueprint that's not always ideal. So I'm gonna give you just really, really simple tips, two or three tips to get you just into that basic shape of down dog and give you permission to feel okay in your down dog so you can build on it. So let's look at Chelsea and down dog. Chelsea, come on up. Now, Ch Chelsea doesn't have a lot of the restrictions I'm gonna be talking about, so we're gonna flub them a little bit. First and foremost, shoulder restrictions. The traditional alignment for down dog is hands at shoulder distance. So if Chelsea brings her hands just a smidge closer together, she'll be at her shoulder distance. But for a lot of people, when they do this, tightness in the shoulder, whether it's due to bone or neuromuscular misalignment or just restriction, old injury, whatever, they, when they do this, it forces the elbows to bow out, right? In order to keep their hands this close, it forces the elbows out. And this also has to do a lot of times with restriction in the forearms, restriction in the wrists. And so then their elbows are bowing out and we tell them hands at shoulder distance, spiral the arms in and down, spiral the arms in and down, and they can't, and it causes a lot of tension, and they end up way up here, rounded backs, <laughs> and then the elbow's sticking out. So I'm gonna say, hey, just widen your hands. So she's gonna take her hands wider, and she can explore all the way out to the edges of the mat. Yeah, and then she's gonna make sure she keeps her thumb and her index finger connecting to the ground, even if her elbows wing out a little bit, it's okay. But what we wanna find is that she's able to feel a sense of support from the ground into her armpit. So what she doesn't wanna do is feel like she's collapsed or she's jamming into the shoulders. So that's it, you widen the hands and you keep full contact. Okay, the second piece or the other piece is that if your hamstrings are tight, so let's assume she's got tight hamstrings, she's actually gonna end up with a rounded back. And this is not what we call a neutral spine and we're looking for a neutral spine and down dog and that's super important to be able to maintain the pose for long periods of time. So in order for her to let the spine be neutral with tight hamstrings, she bends the knees. When she bends the knees, it frees the pelvis, it allows her sit bones to tilt up and allows the spine to lengthen. And that's it. Widen the, the base, bend the knees, and then move the hips back and up. So that's your basic shape for down dog. Okay.